Hey guys! So in today's um, video I'm going to be reviewing two books by the same author. Um, the first one is The Sleep Room and the second one is The Voices. And these are both uh, written by F.R. Tallis. Um, I'm going to start with The Sleep Room because that's the first book that I read. And um, this book, it follows a psychiatrist called James who um, gets a new job in a psychiatric clinic and his job is basically to oversee um, this room called the sleep room and what they do in this room it's a new type of therapy where there are six women who are mentally disturbed and um, I believe they have schizophrenia they are kept in a um, almost like a coma like state so induced sleep for months on end and um, he's basically just to keep an eye on them and monitor them and strange things start to happen uh, within the sleep room you know there were shadows and noises and the nurses um, hate spending time in there as a, a especially a nurse I think her name's called Jane um, she hates spending time in the sleep room it upsets her frightens her and he doesn't really understand why and he wants to find out more about these six women and what's happening and um, during monitoring them you know strange things start to happen to him and he kind of notices things happening between the women who are sleeping and he's just trying to investigate it and I just found this to be um, a really good it's kind of a paranormal story I would describe it as a gothic mystery slash paranormal uh, I found it very creepy, very atmospheric. Um, I like the fact that, you know, it's set in the UK, in the countryside. You can really imagine it. I think it's just like a really good kind of ghosty story. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it, which made me want to buy more of his books. Um, so I went ahead and I bought The Voices. Now this one I have kind of mixed opinions about. Um, again, it's set in the UK, um, but this time it's set in 1976 in London. And it follows a couple, um, Christopher and Laura and their um, daughter, uh, who move into a new home in London. And it's an old uh, Victorian style house. And Christopher's job, he, he um, records music for films. So he's a composer, he composes music for films. And when he's in his studio, in his house, um, composing music, he notices unexplained voices are turning up on his tapes. This kind of reminds me of a film, um, what's it called, White Noise, where, you know, you can hear, like, through technology, recorders and radios and TVs and stuff, you know, like, ghostly voices coming through. Reminds me a little bit of that. Um, but I just... I found this book really, really creepy, and I don't normally get like creeped out by books. You know, I'm really into horror, so I can watch films and read stuff, and it doesn't really bother me. But with this book, it actually, I actually did find it quite disturbing. Um, you know, things start happening within the house. Um, it's basically a haunting story of this family being haunted, his wife and his child, some things happened to them. I don't want to give too much away, I don't want to give the ending away, so I can't really, you know, explain much further. Um, but yeah, I just found this book quite disturbing. I don't know why, maybe because a child was involved. Um, I think it was very well written, very creepy. Um, you know, the, the dad in this book, Christopher, just becomes obsessed with recording these voices. But the more he does and the more he gets involved with it, you know, more bad things start happening in the house. And um, you just end up feeling really sorry for his wife and his child. So I did enjoy reading it because I thought it was a very good haunting story and it was very creepy. But then on the other side of it, by the end of this book, when I completely finished it, I was feeling quite kind of upset with the ending. I mean, it wasn't a bad ending. It's just what happened. Um, it's not a very uplifting book, shall I say. <laughs> mm. 
so yeah but if you like again the kind of creepiness of the books I'm glad I read it and I would definitely read more of his work um, just because I think he's very good at telling creepy ghosty stories so the sleep room I would definitely recommend reading if you're into you know hauntings and ghost stories and then if you don't mind being creeped out and slightly disturbed then um, I recommend the voices so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about these books if you have any comments then please leave them down below and thank you for watching bye